Hey, it's Tony T, Talking Car Biz. Here's that 23 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Lime Rush is the color on this one. Hey, in this video, we're gonna cover the exterior, and then be sure and catch video number two, the interior, link at the end of this video. Here we go. TRD Sport up front has that really cool hood scoop, which is not functional, it's aesthetics looks awesome on here and if you want the hood scoop the trd sports the way to go trd off-road does not have a hood scoop this one's been upgraded with the led headlight and the led fog light package 485 485 extra and that gives you the black bezels around here which look really nice led daytime running lights led turn signals led high beams low beams by the way those are auto on and off they're also automatic high beams and then LED fog lights down here. Again, the color on this one is a lime rush. It looks awesome on this uh, truck for sure. Uh, notice that the fog lights are protected by the ABS plastic, matte black finish all the way across. And then the grill here is kind of a charcoal gray metallic painted grill. Again, all plastic. There's really no metal up front on vehicles anymore. Huge Toyota badge right there in the uh, middle of the grill, and that's where your dynamic radar cruise control sensors are. There's also some additional sensors up in the windshield there for your lane tracing assist, your uh, pre-collision system. So this has all of the Toyota's 2.5 safety sense features on here. TRD Sport does have a painted color to match bumper cover where you get on the uh, off-road that's kind of a gray versus the painted here so this is a little flashier if you will and then TRD Sport does have that lower uh, air dam which is something you'll see on the Sport and the limited edition if you're gonna do any off-road driving I recommend just a few twists of the screwdriver there's one right there and get that off before you go off-road there's a steel skid plate underneath it does have a fully independent front suspension which gives you a much better handling and this is a firmer ride which also gives you better on-road handling the standard wheels on this sport edition are the 17 inch cast aluminum wheels you can see they're gloss black painted with the satin silver accents and then chrome lug nuts front wheel disc brakes analog brakes traction control and of course four-wheel drive I mentioned earlier a fully independent front suspension that's a coil over strut front suspension and then the tires on here are, are definitely a better road tire for handling that's a two, 265 65 17 inch uh, tire a good on-road can be uh, an off-road tire as well but not as good as the TRD off-road tire the over fenders painted color to match lime rush mirrors painted color to match led turn signals with a little bit of chrome in there no cameras underneath this one so this does not have the terrain package it does have the black emblem package which includes this tacoma one and then a couple across the back that's 160 dollars extra this one also is equipped with the factory installed predator steps along the side here those are 679 dollars color to match door handles with the smart keyless entry system privacy glass on your back windows i do like the fact that they put this applique on here so it minimizes scratches and such by the way this one's about a forty-seven thousand dollar window sticker because it does have a bunch of extras on it really a cool looking truck trd uh 4x4 sport decal standard up top a shark fin antenna there's your bed light and your uh, third brake light privacy glass here and then this window is also a power sliding rear window now the bed on the Tacoma is a composite bed so it's kind of a combination of materials and as a result it does have a built-in or integrated bed liner which is uh, pretty darn durable you can also put a spray-in bed liner in there but uh, this is your standard composite bed insert so in the bed of this one there's a couple of upgrades one of them is this uh, rubber floor mat that's a hundred eighty dollars extra definitely worth its weight in gold and then these led cargo lights back here on both sides those are 149 extra standard is the over the rail protection the track or the rail system tie down hooks in all four corners and also standard part of the upgraded uh, sport package you've got your 12 your 12 volt outlet and this is a little storage compartment here you can put a uh, tonneau cover on here and if you do that it makes it a nice safe and secure place 
does have the uh, key lock. Here's your backup camera, Toyota embossed right in the handle, and then Tacoma here in the tailgate. Again, the blackout V6 badge, part of the uh, black emblem package. This one does have the technology package, so you've got your backup sensors here. And in order to have that, you do have color to match bumper caps as well. That's kind of a requirement for the sonar parking. As far as the trailer setup, all Tacomas are set up with four pin, seven pin bumper lights. This is nice textured bumper, so it's not slip resistant. And then there's your uh, trailer receiver, class four trailer towing, up to 6,600 pounds with the 3.5 V6. And there's your temporary spare tire. Quick look at your suspension. So the TRD Sport does have the Bilstein shocks. Again, that's gonna be a, uh, a stiffer suspension for better handling on road. If you're gonna be doing a lot of off-road driving, you might wanna consider the TRD off-road. This one will go off-road but definitely not the perfect suspension or the perfect tire setup for off-road driving, but it does have that capability. So if you want a V6, the 2023 is the last year for it, and this engine has been phenomenal for Toyota, really a great power plant. 3.5 liter, 24 valve V6, connected to a six-speed automatic transmission and has been tried and true. So we've got an electronically controlled transfer case. We have automatic limited slip differential. Of course, it's all set up for towing right off the dealer's lot. And the engine and transmission have a really great warranty. That's gonna be a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, uh, no deductible. And then of course you do get Toyota Care. Toyota Care gives you your basic maintenance. So you're gonna get your oil changes, your fluid top offs, tire rotations, and also Toyota covers uh, roadside assistance for the same period of time. Uh, I'm sorry, for two years, 25,000 miles. And then the warranty on the vehicle itself is a three year, 36,000 mile limited warranty. So a real great warranty pack on, package on the Tacoma. Let's go ahead and jump inside and check out the interior. So the interior on the Tacoma really hasn't changed over the last few years. This is just such a bulletproof vehicle and sales have been phenomenal. Uh, but next year, 2024, it's an all new vehicle. But same door that we've seen in last year's model on the 2023. I do like the rubber coating here on the door. It's slip resistant, so if your hands are wet and you're jumping up into the truck, it's not gonna slip and slide. Chrome handle, one touch up and down on all four windows, power door locks, power mirrors bottle holders, and then speakers in the doors. This one's been upgraded to the JBL audio system, which is a really great sound system. As far as uh, power seat goes, forward, backwards, power recliner, power lumbar support. You don't have that over on the passenger side, driver's side only. Soft tech fabric seats, they are very comfortable. The side bolsters are nice for keeping you in your place. Height, the, height adjustable headrests, height adjustable seat belt as well, and then airbags in the seats that move with you as you move the seat forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four vents across the front, they're omnidirectional, up and down, left and right. A Little bit of chrome around those for accent. Traction control on and off. Cargo light back in the trunk, on and off. Automatic high beams, and then the 120 volt uh, on and off, which is also in the trunk. Hood release down here. Dead pedal, brake and gas where you'd expect them and then a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So normally I would start with the vehicle turned off, but it is so hot today, I have to have the AC on. Up front in the Tacoma with the seats all the way back, there's a lot of leg room, plenty of headroom. If people are sitting behind the driver with the seat all the way back, it's super tight. But if you're the driver, you're gonna be perfectly comfortable. So let's take a look at what do we have, leg room. Here we go, there's your leg room. So right now I've got the seat forward where I would drive it I'm just gonna move it back so you can see if it's all the way back which it is right now I could not drive this vehicle I'm five foot seven so I think if you're a six footer you should be okay steering wheel on the uh, TRD Sport is leather wrapped it's really thick very comfortable driver's side airbag controls for the information center which is gonna be up here in your gauge cluster take a look at that in just a minute Dynamic radar cruise control settings, lane tracing on and off. Cruise controls down here, old school. 
On this side, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, sound system controls, and voice activation or voice commands are done right there. We also have on this side, we've got our headlight controls, automatic headlights, fog light controls, all on the left-hand stock. Over on the right-hand side, that's where we find our wiper controls. You do have intermittent front washer wipers there. And then here's a quick look at our gauge cluster. So hasn't changed in a lot of years, not a lot of electronics, a little bit here with your trip computer and your safety sense. All of that can be controlled using the fingertip controls right here. So you can toggle through. It does have outside temperature, it does have a compass. And of course your trip and fuel calculators are in there. Speedometer, fuel gauge here tachometer temperature gauge here and then the fuel door is going to be on the driver's side so keep that in mind moving over to the uh, center stack we've got throw some light up here actually bring that down a little bit we're going to take a look at the sound system so this is upgraded to the sport premium package and the sport premium package gives you the jbl audio system which is a six speaker sound system with an amplifier and a uh, subwoofer am fm sirius satellite radio standard three months platinum sirius satellite radio apple carplay android auto and alexa compatible and then part of this particular system is navigation so you can go ahead and count on having navigations if you go with the sport uh, premium upgrade Otherwise, you would not have navigation and you can run it straight off of your smartphone. Moving down the center console, heating and air conditioning controls, front driver, front passenger, heated seats, part of that premium upgrade, temperature controls, front window defrost is here, four-wheel drive selector, heated outside mirrors on and off, engine push button start and stop, blind spot monitoring, electronic transfer control, case controls parking assist the sonar parking is an upgrade $800 upgrade this is your rear power window so the one that's way back here that switch opens and closes that window with the sunroof and the power sliding window drop all your windows it makes for a fun off-road adventure down here USB uh, uh, plugs wireless charging you can see I've got my phone down here the case won't allow it to you got to have a case that allows it to sit flat in order for that to work well we do have a 12 volt outlet right there as well so you got one two three ways to plug in in this area and then there's two under the armrest cup holders are here leather wrap shifter for your six-speed automatic transmission parking brake is going to be right here Cup hold, another cup holder and a storage compartment right there so three cup holders up front plus the bottle holders in the doors lots of places to put your beverages hopefully they're not fermented armrest armrest is here padded armrest it's it's um, vinyl it's not cloth covered I don't think that's a really big deal especially in an off-road vehicle it's kind of nice not to have too much fabric um, decent sized storage underneath here but there's two charging ports right down there you probably can't see them they're just down there they are uh one's a usb a and one's a usb c so you can plug your stuff in and then it has a, a cable channel right here so you can run your cords out and still have the armrest closed up take a look at your passenger seat basically the same as we're seeing over here on the driver's side there's your power sliding moonroof which completely opens it also tilts up and it does have a sliding visor again part of that premium upgrade on the uh, sport lighted vanity mirrors adjustable mirrors so that, or visors slide like that and then up here we've got our overhead lights moonroof controls safety connect control right there place for your sunglasses and then the rearview mirror does have three garage door openers and it's also an automatic dimming mirror so a lot of great features up front really hits all the sweet spots the sport edition on the Tacoma if I were to go with the Tacoma the sport would probably be my first choice as far as the back door it really is identical to what we saw up front with the speakers bottle holders power windows the back windows here they are privacy glass or they're tinted the front windows are not 
If you watch any of my Tacoma videos, you know that I don't like the seat operation here. I like the seats, I just don't like the operation. First of all, if you put the driver's seat back, there's not really that much room behind that seat. But to fold these up, they do, you can fold them down, but take a look at that. That seat's too far back. So I really can't get that all the way down, especially if I'm gonna bring this, this part down. So I don't like the fact that I have to go all the way up here, or I have to remember to move this all the way forward. And actually, it doesn't have to go all the way forward, but it definitely has to go far, far enough ahead to be able to get that seat to fall down. So now, this seat's in the preferred position, which is great, but in order to fold this seat down, now I've got to take this headrest out. I cannot do it with one hand, so I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it. But if I don't, then it doesn't come down. I do like the storage behind this seat. I like the uh, grocery bag hook. I think that's a nice touch. I like the backs of the seats because they're nice and uh, protected with this hard plastic cover. But as far as getting it to come down, it's a pain in the bottom. I also like the storage underneath the seats right here. The only thing I would like to see on next year's model is I'd like to see a lock on that so you can have a secure storage area. But um, I hope Toyota comes up with a better seat configuration next year. As far as other features, uh, notice no pocket on this seat. There is a pocket over on this seat, and there's two cup holders here, but there's no place to plug anything in. You can add or install those back those plugs in the back seat, but I just think that's such a minor thing. Toyota should have fixed that years ago. There is overhead lighting back here. There's also co code hooks. There are three seat belts, and all of these headrests are adjustable for safety. Uh, I would say it's pretty comfortable unless you have a really tall driver then this person sitting here is going to be squeezed in there quite a bit. So that's a quick overview of this 2023 Toyota Tacoma Crew Cab 4x4 TRD Sport. Lime Rush is the color on this one. It is a cool looking truck. Hey, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching.